Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. This is a general love reading for the sign of Gemini for this upcoming week in March, beginning of April. If you're brand new to my channel or unfamiliar, there is more detailed information in the description box below. But I am just going to remind all of my viewers that this is a general love reading, so it can pertain to anything, relationships, situations or circumstances surrounding family, work, friends, social circle, enemies, you name it, it might apply. Also be flexible with the energy. Don't be concerned about the gender of the cards. You might feel like I'm reading for you. You could feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. My intention is to reach people who need the message and who will benefit from the message. So parts of it may resonate for you, Gemini, and other parts may not. Take what does, leave behind what doesn't. And hopefully you'll walk away with something that will help you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so we're going to get started. I want to give this deck one more shuffle and see what's going on for Gemini this upcoming week. By the way, if you're curious, today is March 28th, I think. Saturday, March 28th, 2020. All right, Gemini, here we go. We're going to start off with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse paired with the hangman. King of Cups. Knight of Wands. The Ace of Cups. The Hierophant. The Four of Cups in reverse. And the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay, so in the underlying energy, what I'm getting, um, Gemini, is that you or possibly somebody you know or somebody that you're dealing with could potentially be stuck in a situation where they might be dealing with some financial instability, maybe some unrest at a workplace or job, or there might be just um, something that they're dealing with in the financial realm that feels uncertain or unstable. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. We have a King of Cups on the table. This is somebody who's very compassionate and loving, somebody who's very caring. This is somebody who's not afraid to show their emotions, express themselves. Um, this could be your energy, again, or somebody that you're dealing with. And I feel like this King of Cups might be taking action or making some kind of moves um, to help or assist, possibly. Make things right within this relationship or maybe assisting somebody in some way, shape, or form. There might be some kind of conflict or some kind of um, feeling like there is maybe a little internal conflict or anxiety or wrestling with some kind of issue that feels uncertain. Let's get some more cards out here for you, Gemini, and see what else we can get. There's the Five of Wands again. I was just looking at this card. And this is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ten of Cups, clarifying this King of Cups. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is interesting because Taurus, I just did Taurus's reading and Taurus had the King of Pentacles in the upright position and the King of Cups in reverse. And now Gemini has the opposite. King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Cups in the upright. Ace of Cups, clarifying the Ace of Cups. I have a feeling this is gonna be an interesting reading 
Gemini. Ace of Wands in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. And the Six of Wands in reverse, clarifying this Five of Wands. So I get the feeling like this King of Pentacles is dealing with some uncertainty or some insecurity surrounding a financial situation, possibly a job. And I get the feeling like this King of Cups is somebody that is a close connection, a friend, family member, father figure perhaps, somebody who's lending some support through some emotional support. At least right now, that's what it feels like. Um, this King of Pentacles feels like you might be, again, dealing with some unrest within a job situation, financial situation, um, workplace issues, and might be feeling stuck at the moment or uncertain about where things are going or might feel like you know things are not going in the right direction dealing with some obstacles, some bad luck, some um, issues that currently are going unresolved. Um, you know, I can't help, of course, but think about our current state of affairs, you know, with this pandemic that the, the world is dealing with and the fact that a lot of people are dealing with unrest at work, uncertainty surrounding finances, um, layoffs, lost jobs, unable to go to work, you know, that kind of thing. So it could be this, that could potentially be a scenario that this King of Pentacles is dealing with, but I feel like this King of Cups is lending some emotional support. It feels like there could have been some um, issues in the past between these two, um, some kind of separation or disruption within the relationship. And it feels like, it's almost like um, whatever's going on with this King of Pentacles, this King of Cups has said, his thinking to himself, like, here's my opportunity, here's my open door to come back into contact with this King of Pentacles and make things right or help out or lend it, you know, lend some support. Um, in this time of unrest. Almost like, you know, the, the feeling that um, because there is all of this uncertainty surrounding where we're headed, where we're going, what we're doing, um, what all this is going to mean for us in the future with regard to how we move forward in our lives. And I say we because this is, let's face it, this is something that we're all dealing with. Right? And I don't mean to make that a central focus in this reading. I used it as an example and it feels relevant, so I'm going with it. But because of the uncertainty, I think a lot of us, what we're going to realize is the connections that we've had in the past, whether they're family connections, friends, um, even colleagues and, and business partners, people that we felt close to, people we felt loyal to, maybe even people we've had conflict with in the past. Maybe this is an opportunity to set aside some of those things, some of those issues, some of those problems that we've been dealing with in our interpersonal relationships and figure out what's really important and come together to make things right. Just kind of a general message, not necessarily specific to this reading, but you know, I'm picking up on some of that kind of energy. Let's get some more cards out here for you, Gemini. Let's see what else we can get. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. Queen of Cups in reverse.
two of wands. Queen of wands in reverse. Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is kind of a strange storyline that I'm picking up, but I'm going to go with it. So I'm feeling a certain um, level of distrust coming from this King of Pentacles toward potentially this King of Cups. Um, this King of Pentacles feels like he might be dealing with more than just financial unrest or financial instability related to a job situation. This person feels like he might be dealing with um, some issues within a relationship, possibly with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. I feel like this might be the same person. It's possible that this person, this King of Pentacles, is dealing with somebody who, um, during times of unrest, during times of uncertainty, um, maybe has let go of this relationship. I feel like this, this person is the same person. There's a sense of loss of love, lack of loyalty. Um, Queen of Wands can be somebody who's very demanding, needing things her way, needing to um, kind of run the show. This can also indicate somebody who's envious or jealous, but I'm not necessarily feeling that. I'm feeling like this person is... Um, causing this King of Pentacles some grief. And it could be related again to a financial, the financial situation, some kind of um, unrest, some job loss, um, instability. That due to possibly things that are out of, out of this King's control, that this person is kind of blaming this King But there is also the sense that this person, uh, it might be time to let this person go or release this relationship. I think this King of Pentacles has a decision to make and that is when things get rough, who's gonna stick by my side through thick and thin? I get the feeling that's kind of what this king is, is thinking right now. And there's a lot of feeling a little bit of mental conflict, feeling some instability, feeling uncertain, feeling insecure, and maybe not quite clear about where to go from here or what to think or, or what to believe. I feel like this King of Pentacles is lacking a certain amount of trust when it comes to relationships at this point in time. But this King of Cups is feeling like, you know, he, it kind of feels like he's coming in to save the day. And, you know, like the, the white, the, the knight on the white horse coming in to save the day to... And I don't mean it in a romantic sense, I mean it in a, uh, a sense of loyalty, like, well, I'm here for you, I can support you, I've got your back. Um, you know, maybe it's time to leave behind the relationships that aren't serving you because you do have some that, that will always remain loyal, the love is always there, the compassion is always there. This could be a family member, for example. It feels like a family, may possibly a father figure, somebody that's, somebody that's very loyal and close to this King of Pentacles that I feel is offering some support in a time of need. And at this point in time, this King of Pentacles feels very untrusting or not willing to
he just doesn't feel like he's willing to make any decisions right now because I just feel like he doesn't trust. He's lacking. He's feeling very insecure and very uncertain about relationships altogether. I mean, if he had someone who, whose lack of loyalty has revealed itself because you know, there's this period of time where there's some unrest, there's some uncertainty, um, that kind of thing, and this person has just decided to abandon this King of Pentacles, then he might be in his head about, you know, what relationships he can trust and how he feels about people he's close to altogether. Like, he just doesn't have the sense that he feels secure about anybody. Maybe he's feeling like he needs to watch out for himself and himself only not necessarily willing to let other people in at this point in time. Let's get some this last round of cards out and see what else we get for you, for you, Gemini. So we have the Devil in Reverse. Seven of Wands. King of Swords in Reverse. The hangman. Oh, he, no, the hangman did not come out already. The hierophant in reverse. The sun in reverse. The queen of swords. And the page of wands. So there's just a sense of um, needing to defend oneself. Again, I, you know, this king of pentacles could be your energy, Gemini, or you could be this king of cups. You could even be this queen of wands, possibly, but I don't necessarily feel like I'm reading for this queen of wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands may have abandoned or left this King of Pentacles, and I feel like this King of Pentacles is feeling stuck and uncertain right now and untrusting, feeling like he might need to watch out for himself, defend himself. I also feel like this King of Cups potentially um, is, is represented by this King of Swords, and I do feel like this King of Cups is kind of coming across as somebody maybe connected to this King of Pentacles who... Could be in a position of authority again it could feels like it could be a, a father figure or someone who who this king has sought out um advice from or possibly support from in the past this king of pentacles might be feeling insecure about how this king of cups will respond or has responded to the plight of this king of pentacles kind of like a, a fear of being told I told you so or see you should listen to me I'm the one who who knows what what was right for you and you didn't listen to me and now you're facing these consequences I get I get that feeling like this king of pentacles is real this is very similar I'm just gonna say very similar to the Taurus reading so there might be something in there for you or you might be dealing with the Taurus But there's the sense this King of Pentacles is reluctant to um, connect with or interact with this King of Cups, King of Swords, because he feels like um, the King of Swords or the King of Cups is going to come back with um, kind of a tongue lashing. Like, I told you, you should have listened to me. Now you're faced with these this issue, um, possibly having the disconnect from this queen of, of wands um hierophant in reverse can can indicate um divorce things going awry within a spiritual connection um feeling uncertainty with with letting something go with leaving behind a relationship um again I, this Queen of Wands can indicate anybody does not have to be a spouse or a romantic partner, but that's what it's feeling like to me. Or or just somebody significant enough, it feels like this, this person could have been a support system for this King of Pentacles in some way, a partner of some kind who maybe has left the scene or left this King behind. 
to fend for himself. Let's get this last round of cards out here, Gemini, and see what else we get. Chariot. Knight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands in reverse. No, we have King of Wands, the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is clarifying the King of Pentacles, so I think it's the same person. I think I indicated at the beginning that I was reading for this King of Cups. It feels like I'm reading for this King of Pentacles. It could be either one. This King of Pentacles energy is very strong. And I do believe that the, under, the cards and the underlying energy is connected to this King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. and Page of Pentacles. So I'm going to throw this out there because I do feel like there could be kids in, in, involved in this situation, especially with the two pages coming out. And I feel like this King of Pentacles might be dealing with a, a family situation possibly or the demise of a relationship because of some um, financial instability or some rocky situations involving work or employment. But I do think that possibly um, children are involved and this could be making the situation um, more challenging because there's a certain level of confusion or uncertainty. I do feel like this Queen of Wands is significant to this King of P Pentacles, King of Wands. And I do feel right now he feels stuck or uncertain or not feeling like he has um, control or feeling very secure in the situation. Um... I think he's he's having to deal with some hard truth regarding relationships and connections that could be um, seeing some conflicts of feeling a little bit uncertain and he's having to make some decisions regarding these these relationships these connections that are not feeling very comfortable to him. I do feel like right now um, he is receiving some kind of support, whether it be emotional support or financial support from this King of Cups. Again, this could be a partner, um, business partner, father figure, family member, other than a father, but somebody who is financially secure and has significant compassion and love and loyalty for this King of Pentacles. On the other hand, I do feel like there's been some um, disagreements between these two or some bad blood between these two because I don't know that this King of Pentacles feels like he, he is clear on whether or not he can trust this King. If you are the King of Pentacles, you can trust this King of Cups. Um, he might have some harsh words for you, but you can trust him. I think he wants to help you move past these difficult times, move on from whatever it is that you're dealing with. And I think he, if he's offering support, I think that you can trust and accept the support from this King of Cups, King of Swords. And he may not be a very easy person to communicate. I, I do get that sense that um, maybe he gets a little full of himself sometimes. And you know those people I'm talking about. The people who are never wrong, at least in their own mind's eye, <laughs> that have all the answers um, and, and feel like, you know, because they've been through the ringer and back, they have a lot of experience under their belt. You know, they're the ones that you should seek out for clarity, for um, security. But this king, this king of Cups does have love for you if you're this King of Pentacles. If you're this King of Cups, and you are hoping to reconnect or, or help out or make it and make some kind of connection with this King of Pentacles in a time when he's in a time of need. 
Uh, might I suggest that you soften your approach, especially with your words, because I do believe that's what, what is holding this King of Pentacles back. If you are hoping for him to come forward and accept some kind of um, help from you or some kind of you know guidance or just reconnecting with him so that you can you two can work some things out together because I do feel he's he's reluctant because of that and if you're this queen of wands queen of cups the energy for this person is not super strong except to say that I feel like This person is a little unwavering in, um, and by that I mean um, maybe not seeing this King of Pentacles perspective where perhaps he's been a provider, perhaps he's been a partner, perhaps he's gone along with um, how you wanted things, how you like things, if you are this Queen of Wands. But at this point in time, there's a certain level of uncertainty, not knowing where to go from here, not feeling very secure or confident. And perhaps if you're looking to save this relationship or stay in the relationship or keep things going that maybe you lighten up on your demands. And again, I don't feel like I'm reading for the Queen of Wands, but I could be. I mean, there's, you know, she could be cross watching. I just feel like this King of Pentacles need support more than anything else because he's dwelling in some shadow energy that's very difficult right now. I think he's trying to work through it. I'm going to take this card that flopped out into my chair and it's the two of earth or two of pentacles. Okay, I'm going to read this and we're going to end. I'm going to finish up this reading for you, Gemini. So let's see what this says. relatively short passage just about a half a page and this is about balance keeping things you know under control keeping things going so here we go the two of earth symbolizes the importance of balancing work home family and play whilst remaining flexible and adaptable in meetings one's commitments and responsibilities you are filled with a sense of purpose you have goals and dreams nurture them be willing to do what is needed in order to make them manifest, but do so with mindfulness and the awareness that all you do has an impact on those around you. Be confident, trust in both yourself and your abilities, but also be flexible, adaptable, and open to compromise. Self-belief is the key to maintaining a healthy equilibrium. If you believe that you can achieve your goals and meet your responsibilities at the same time, then there is a good chance that you can. But ground your self-confidence in reality, realizing that you are not superhuman or perfect, there is a limit to what you can do and achieve without burning the candle at both ends. Be aware and respectful of your physical, mental, and emotional needs. Forgive your limitations, ask for help, and share your responsibilities if you need to before you start to drop things because you are mentally, physically, and emotionally worn. I think this is a message for the King of Pentacles. And I think it's very clear, King of Pentacles, if I'm reading for you, that you are currently in a state of feeling stuck, feeling uncertain, feeling insecure because you've got a lot on your plate. I think you might be dealing with not only um, unrest in the workplace and possibly financial instability, but a little bit of instability with regard to some of the relationships that you're dealing with. Take things day by day. Know that you are capable. Know that you're not alone more than anything else because you aren't. And things will balance themselves out, but you also do have people who are willing and wanting to support you and help you. And there is nothing wrong with accepting a helping hand when times are rough. So I hope that this helped, Gemini. I hope that this reading gave you some kind of clarity or gave you something to walk away with. I really appreciate you watching. If it did resonate, please give me a like, share, subscribe if you want to. Leave a comment if you feel like it. I love those too. Thank you so much, and I hope I see you again soon. Bye, Gemini.